All right. Uh, so once again, welcome everybody to the WordPress Contributor Mentorship Program. It's so exciting to have this very vibrant group of people here. So we have uh, folks from, if my math is right, around 25 countries, and we have at least 50, around 50 mentees with the number growing. So we, we, we're we going to get a few more mentees coming in. We were not able to find some mentors for them, but uh, our community has come together and a lot of folks have expressed interest in being mentors. So you're going to see a few more mentees come into the channel, but um, yeah, we have a slice of the world, so many contributors from all over the world. And uh, it's exciting to have you with us. So we're going to be working for the next six weeks, contributing to WordPress, having a blast. So I'm going to, I have some slides. I'm going to very quickly walk you through what the plan is for the, for these six weeks. What are, what are we going to do for the, for these six weeks? Uh, and to answer any questions and to just formally, I mean, not formally, informally celebrate the launch of this program and to, you know, sort of like have folks share, share their experiences, like have folks share what they're looking for. And as my friend Oha mentioned earlier, maybe even play some music. <laughs> All right. So let's kick things off. Um, so we have a very light agenda. Um, and I want to start with introduction. So how many people do we have here? We have 17. I was thinking of doing this in chat, but since this is a smaller group, maybe like, so how about this? Um, so whoever who wants to, you can share your introduction in chat. You can like share this, your name, your location, your role in this group and what you're looking for, you can share in chat. But if you feel brave enough, you can come on video or even audio or just come in this call and introduce yourselves. So I'd like to hear a few introductions and when things go silent, let's move on. So how does it work? I'll go first. <laughs> go for go for it, Ohaya. Um, I'm Ohaya. I'm from the States, but I am trying really hard to stay in Spain forever. And um, I'm part of the like design group. And um, I really, really want to learn. Um, I'm currently in Spain and trying to stay forever. I, I just want to learn best practices. Like I've been doing this stuff on my own forever and ever. And who knows what my CSS is like when other people look at it. It could be good. It could be bad. I'm helping to implement the current Europe WordCamp site right now. So no one is complaining too much. So maybe it's good. And I'm really hoping that eventually I can get in uh, with people so well that are creating core that I can have a little sway on creating the hover status for the button settings in the back end. Like we need that so bad. That's all. Peace out. <laughs> Good to meet you. I can go next. Um, my name is Terry. Um, I'm also Teresa in Slack. Um, I am from Austin, Texas, uh, USA. And uh, I am a mentee, um, and I'm looking forward to so much. I am really excited to get to know folks, um, get acquainted with the processes that go behind the scenes of, you know, how the sausage gets made, as they say. Um, I use WordPress for my work. I'm working on a front-end uh, framework for folks to go headless with WordPress, um, yeah, and I'm just really, really grateful to the community and I'd love to give back somehow. So looking forward to learning how. Hey, I guess I'll go next. Uh, hello everyone. My name is James, James Lau. I am located in Boston, Massachusetts, which is the Northeast realm of the United States. Uh, currently, my role in this group is uh, a mentee. Um, I've been utilizing WordPress for the past, uh, I would say, seven years, um, but I've been in the field of web development for 13 plus. Um, but uh, I have not really contributed anything to WordPress. Uh, haven't really done much with the community until actually the fall of last year. Uh, so. This year, I am the official organizer for the Boston WordPress Meetup Group. I'm also a organizer for WordCamp New Jersey in Montclair, 2024. Um, I'm also a volunteer for the WordPress Accessibility Day. That's going to be happening, I think, it's in September. And I'm 
what I'm here for is to look for some help, some guidance to see how I can start contributing to the ecosystem of WordPress, um, whether that's bug fixes, design elements, um, because my background is specifically in graphic design, but I'm also a front developer. So anything theme building is uh, specific to what I do. Well, nice to meet you all. Hi, everybody. Uh, can you guys hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, so my name is Hector. I'm based in Toronto. I work for a web development company, and we mainly do WordPress, although we do other sort of front-end uh, frameworks. But I've been working with WordPress for about 15 years, I believe. I have participated in work camps. Um, but I have never had the chance or the uh, the courage to try to involve myself into uh, contributing. But I think this is a great opportunity to get us started. And as a mentee, i looking forward to learn how to properly do this. I'll be working with the um, documentation team, and I'm excited to be part of all this group. Uh, Alex, you can go ahead. Uh, sorry, uh, because he's been raising his hand. Sorry. Right. So, yeah. Was that intentional uh, or? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yes. Anyway, go for it. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Uh, well, I'm Alex from Nicaragua. Um, well, uh, I'm a mentee too. Um, well, I have been wor working to support my local community since uh, maybe six years ago and I've been a, a work and organizer, meetup organizer. And also I support the the organization team for Work on Central America some years ago. And well I'm looking forward to help more uh, the community and learn how to mentor to others that want to be a work and organizer. My wife and I went to Spain last year and well and in January, and we learn a lot of from the Spanish community. So I, I did a lot of friends there, like Ohio and Nilo. So <laughs> I I glad to see you here, guys. And um, yep, that's my that that's me. Okay, so can I go next? Go for it, Bishop. Yeah. Uh... Hi, my name is Vishal and I'm from a beautiful city, Mumbai, India. And the role in this group is I'll be working on, I'm, I'm working as a mentee, I will be working as a mentee and I'll be working on India reactivation, events reactivation team. So I have been also a part of a WordPress Mumbai community and volunteering, organizing, other than that, I have recently started my own WordPress agency where I build build and design WordPress sites, WooCommerce sites, and that's all. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Anyone else wants to go next? I can jump in. Go for um, it. I'm Diana. I am also uh, like Hector uh, from Toronto. Um, I built my first wordpress.com site in like 2010, I think, or 2011, uh, and started working with wordpress.org tech uh, in 2013. And these days I do a lot of writing tutorials on how to use plugins and themes for various uh, WordPress theme and plugin publishers. So I've done a lot of stuff with WordPress, but I'm very new to the whole idea of contributing directly to WordPress itself. Uh, I am a mentee and I'm really excited just to sort of get a handle on the volunteer ecosystem, which is kind of uh, overwhelming just jumping in uh, and to really connect with other people who are in the WordPress space. Thanks. So... Since we have two Canadians here, did you all know that there's a WordCamp Canada coming up? Who is excited for that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Right. Go, go for it. Yep. 
Hello, I'm Patricia. I'm from the French-speaking part of Switzerland. Um, uh, what I'm looking forward is to make new friends from all our around the world, <laughs> and this is a great place. And also uh, to share with you the the joy of contributing to WordPress. I'm a Meetup and a WordCamp uh, organizer. I'm happy to see here two of my co uh, fellow co organizer of WordCamp Europe, Nilo and Oaya, mm. and even a volunteer who signed up. I mean, the volunteer team, uh, Alex, is uh, is uh, one of us. And yes. yeah, w like 10 years ago, I, when I started to uh, organize, organize Meetup in, in my city, I, I didn't even know I was contributing, but actually it is contributing. And yeah, a lot uh, to share and to learn at the same time because no one knows everything. So this, we are go all going to learn all together in this nice. cohort. Yep. So Patricia is also a facilitator like me and she's also a mentor. She's mentoring two contributors in this team as well. So thank you for all that you do, Patricia. Yes. Anyone else wants to go? go sure, I'll, I'll jump in if that's all right. I had to turn my audio go for it. on. Go for it. My name is Seth. I'm from the in the southeastern United States. Um, been using WordPress for a long time, focused on uh, block building uh, with React and Gutenberg and um, my, what I would primarily like to focus on is uh, working on some of the documentation and contributing some examples and sample code, trying to patch up kind of the loose ends and to make sure everything's accurate and just to make the developer onboarding experience a little bit easier. Because uh, I just found that when I was going through that over the last couple of years, there was a little bit left uh, that, that I was having to look for that wasn't there, quite frankly, in a lot of cases. So um, I'm a mentee and uh, I, I most most look forward to being able to submit some pull requests and learn uh, a bit more about contributing uh, collaboratively with other people and using GitHub and stuff like that. Thanks. Thanks. So exciting. Awesome. Um, does anybody else want to introduce themselves? Okay, so um, anyone who hasn't introduced themselves, please, uh, you can you can share briefly about yourself as mentioned in the slide in in chat as well. Um, okay, I'm I'm gonna ask one last time. Anyone else? Okay, all right. So we because of lack of time, let's just move ahead. Uh, but again, feel free to you know share about yourself very briefly in this in in chat. And yeah, we have a very diverse cohort, uh, and that's one of the things that I love the most about this group. I mean, we have folks from all over the world, speaking all different languages, contributing to all amazing teams. So it's good to have all of us together. All right. So we have essentially two goals for both mentors and mentees. And that's the reason why we're doing this. For mentees, I mean, many of you shared your goals and like, I think this aligns with what you're looking for. We are trying to give you hands-on experience contributing to WordPress by connecting you with experienced contributors. We have a we have a group of 25-ish uh, mentors with more coming in uh, because like we have some mentees who don't have mentors yet. We're trying to make sure that everybody gets placed. And uh, so this hopefully helps WordPress and helps mentees themselves as they learn new skills and you know find a global community as they contribute. And for mentors, this is a great opportunity to pick up some leadership skills and you know just to enjoy the joy of, you know, of, Helping other people. I mean, that's that's one of the best things about WordPress. We help each other and we find joy in that. So that's why we're doing this. So some history, which is not in the slides. This is actually a second cohort. We had a first cohort last year, which was an experiment. It was created by a group of volunteers working with the WordPress Contributor Working Group. And uh, we had a first version, which had 13 members. It was a huge success. Uh, we, had, we realized that like it helps to have especially for a new contributor, it helps to have an uh, experienced contributor to be there for help. That seems to work. That was the biggest takeaway that we had from the old cohort. And we still have contributors from that cohort contributing actively to WordPress. In fact, we have a mentor who was a mentee in the last cohort. He's joined as a mentor for this cohort. So, um, I mean, that, that that's personally a, a big milestone for me as well. So, yeah, 
uh, I hope to have some of the mentees in this cohort joining as mentors for the next cohort as well. But of course, like the, the objective is we are here for six weeks. We are here to have fun. And we are here to have fun by contributing to our trust. That's, that's what we are hoping for as uh, this cohort launches. So coming back, we have 20 groups in this cohort. Uh, and some of them are projects. And some of them are like, you know, individual groups. So uh, I'm going to highlight the most important ones. So there's a community themes project. So this group, uh, which is led by Maggie and Ganga, they're trying to build a community block theme. So together they're trying to, you know, sort of like create a community theme, which will be published in the repo. Uh, it will be available as a community theme. That's a dedicated new idea, which came up, came out, I guess, in 2022. Uh, there's a group of folks who are working on documentation. There's a, there's a bunch of projects. There's, a, there's one on 6.5. There's a doc sprint, which looks at, uh, you know, trying to, work on some of the pending documents. So I know we have a few documentation mentees here, especially in this call as well, something for you all to work on. And again, we are trying to, you know, get mentors for everybody. So in case you don't have a mentor yet, don't worry, we'll find you one. It's we are, we are actually working on it. There, there are projects for polyglots as in to translate WordPress to different languages. There's a dedicated project to reactivate, you know, WordPress meetups in, in a particular region, India in this case. There's a meta project. So uh, met, there's a meta group, which is led by Stephen and Courtney. So this group, they're trying to uh, contribute to Courtney. In fact, like alongside this meeting, there's a meta chat happening. Uh, that was a, an unfortunate clash. So maybe that's why we don't have meta folks in this call. But yeah, that's a that's a very interesting project. And, and I know we have some mentees uh, in that group in this call. Uh, we have a photo directed reviewer training session. We have a Spanish community onboarding. So in short, we have more than 50 mentees paired up with 25 mentors and some folks have uh, some some folks are in projects as i mentioned some folks are uh, so there's there's different types of projects and different types of uh, contributions so the the objective is your mentor will help so for mentees specifically your mentor your contribution experience is largely driven by your mentor so you work with your mentor to create a goal of sorts and the mentor will guide you through these 6 weeks and depending on what you want to do you will be making these contributions in this period. So that's that's how we have envisioned the program. And you'll be working with this cohort in the in the six weeks. So we will all learn from each other. And again, uh, speaking from experience running the last cohort, I learned a lot from our mentees. So that's that's what we are hoping for. We hope to learn from each other. And it's not just the mentees, we all learn from each other. So we're trying to create a shared learning experience while contributing to WordPress. So that's that's what we're doing, trying to do here in this cohort. Uh what does the timeline look like? So we have six weeks, as I mentioned, we started on February 19th. We wrap up on the week of March. Uh, like uh, the date is March 29th, but that's a good Friday. So we might have our closing ceremony slightly ahead, but we are here for six weeks and week one and week two is intentionally very light. So you must have noticed that this week has been kind of quiet uh, apart from the introductions and all that. That is very intentional because we didn't want to overwhelm you. Somebody in the interaction mentioned about how overwhelming this could look like, which is the reason why we are taking it slow. So um, this week we are trying to connect all mentees with mentors. And as I mentioned, some mentees don't have mentors yet. So we're trying to fix that too. Uh, so as and when mentees connect with mentors, they start to set some contribution goals for themselves because it's important to set goals. So when you have a certain set of goals for yourself, it helps you be more focused. And we will also run some online workshops on certain topics. So somebody mentioned GitHub. We are trying to, in fact, like have a dedicated workshop on GitHub, which will most probably happen next week. We'll have some intro sessions on, you know, the WordPress project, especially for our newer contributors. I mean, this is a big project and it helps to have some dedicated onboarding for that. So week three and week four, that's when the real action starts. So... By the end of week two, hopefully, you will you will be onboarded to the teams that you want to contribute to. So if you're, for instance, if you're working on meta, you get onboarded to the meta team. If you're working on community themes, you get onboarded to the themes project. So uh, that is the time that you get to sort of like start working on uh, that. And on three and week three and four, with guidance from your mentors, you are going to start contributing. So they will provide you specific guidance. We will also try to have some sessions so that like, all mentees get a taste of different themes, but specifically for each mentee, your mentor will be there with you for the six weeks. They will, uh, so around week three, you will be onboarded to the team. It starts probably on week two. 
and you will start contributing to the team. So for folks working on projects like the community theme project, this is when they'll be you'll be working with the people, other people in your project towards uh, towards that. And you will also get help from uh, different folks in different teams. And together, so week three and week four, you, you, you folks are going to be deeply in the contribution process. And on week five and week six, we wrap things up and uh, we celebrate what you've done so far. We'll have a graduation ceremony. And uh, this 30, 60 day, 90 day goal is an important part of our program. So by the end, you will work with your mentees to create a, a goal, a contribution goal. I mean, a lot of folks here, they've said that they would like to keep contributing. And we all know that you folks have your own lives and jobs and all that. So it helps to create a plan which is sustainable, like where you can contribute alongside your day-to-day uh, you know, -day jobs and your day-to-day -day lives. So work with your mentee to men mentor to create those goals. And uh, yeah, and we graduate, we celebrate our wins, and then we go on with our lives. So six weeks of contribution and fun and learning. That's what we have in mind. Uh, so I, I know I did explain this a bit. I'm going to go on slightly more detail on how these weeks look like. Again, weeks one and two, take it easy. And I would, again, I shared this in the last cohort as well. I would use this sentence for all of six weeks. I want to be very clear about one thing. This is not an official internship. This is not something that we want you to work for 20, 30 hours per week for the next six weeks. This is not that. This is a, this is a uh, contribution project for an open source software. You can contribute as much as you, you can. Like the expectation is very less. And again, especially if you have a busy work life, you can scale up or down your contributions as much. I mean, I know some of you are freelancers. Maybe you have project deadlines coming up. So you define, what I'm trying to say is you define your contributor experience. And the, we have designed this in such a way that you get to have fun as you do it. So please take it easy for the next six weeks. Uh, we've designed this to be a light program. And the objective is that you enjoy doing this. So if you're not enjoying doing this, then we've we've not done this well. But we're doing our best to do that. And uh, especially this week, try to get to know your cohort, which is why we had these introductions. And I got to say, I was, so if you look at the intros, there was a, there's a thread in the top of the Slack channel. So many excellent deserts were shared. And <laughs> frankly, I found myself craving for a lot of them. So, I mean, it's, it's fun, right? Getting to know these 50 people. So you're going to be with them for this uh, next five weeks. Get to know them and like interact with them. Uh, especially, so weeks one and two are the best time for you to do that. And this week, some of you, again, some of you have some contribution experience in the past and some of you are fairly new. So especially for the new folks, we will have dedicated sessions to help onboard you to the WordPress project, especially if you're new. So We'll, we'll try to fill up the gaps. We'll, we'll try to like share about the project, different areas about the projects that you never knew existed. Of course, we'll be sharing this information throughout the cohort. But on the first weeks, we will try to have some dedicated sessions to share this with you. And another important thing for the first two weeks is do check in with your mentor. So they will reach out to you in case you haven't reached out to them. So they will uh, like chat with them. If possible, hop on a call with them and uh, you know, chat about your plans and get to know them really well. And so they, they will also guide you. So together you can start the contribution journey this way. Uh, and of course, create create that plan. And uh, towards the end of week two, so week one is very light. If you, if you I mean, I know some of you are really raring to go. And if you, if you are that person, please go ahead and start. Your mentor is already there to help you. But for the others, I would, I would recommend you to take it easy. Uh, like you only need to onboard to your team towards the end of week two, and you can even take week three for that. So onboard to the team, and I've used the word teams because there's so many teams in WordPress and, some, and contributing to some of them is like fairly easy. Did you know that WordPress has a photo directory where you can actually contribute photos? And that's a, that's a valid contribution. In fact, we have photos as part of this uh, program as well. And we'll have uh, Tofer, who I don't think is there on this call, uh, who he's our mentor for photos team. He'll be uh, introducing you all to that. But yeah, try exploring the different teams that we have. So these first two weeks are uh, the best option for you to do that. There are some light contributions. You can, and maybe if, if, you, if you're interested, you can translate strings or, you know, explore the community team and, and like explore the different areas of WordPress and find out what really interests you. Well, these weeks are for that. And yes, as I shared earlier, the action really starts at week three and five. 
So again, you work with your mentors, you actively start contributing to your teams. And one point that I'd like to offer is your mentor is always there to help you. Feel free to ping them with any questions that you have. And uh, I want to highlight one thing which Patricia really highlighted in the past call. Please ask your questions in the channel as much as possible. So we have a group of experts and uh, like I, I know I've, I've seen several mentees who know a lot of things more than I do. So I would I would ask them for help readily. So and we have all these people together in this channel and it's very intentional that we've all we put you all together in this one space. So it helps to ask questions there and and we we've we've tried to create a safe space here. So there's no there's no silly questions. So uh, if you have any questions, any confusions, you can ask directly in the channel. Somebody will be there to help you. It could be even be a mentee. So and of course, like try to build relationships with your mentees in this in this period as well. And on weeks three to five, so remember we had set some contribution goals that was done on week one and two. Uh, again, you don't need to set lofty goals. I want to be very clear about that. You don't need to set goals like, "Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna create a new component. I'm gonna I'm gonna fix this huge issue." It depends on what you can do, and your mentor will will help you refine that goal uh, to make it achievable. There's a term called SMART goals, uh, which means specific, measurable, achievable. Um, I forgot the R and the T, but the idea is something that can be tracked and something that's easy to achieve. So they will help you do that. And the final week, week six, you'll have, so you you should ideally check in with your mentor once every two weeks, they will reach out to you, but that can be more and uh, more, like you, you can do, you can definitely check in more frequently. And um, this is not there in the slides, but throughout our program, we have an expectation of asynchronous communication. Does anybody know what asynchronous communication is? Anyone? Yes. Um, I'll yeah. answer that. Go, go for it. Oh, go for go. it. Yeah. <laughs> no. Go for it, Jenny. Oh, okay. Asynchronous yeah. communication, uh, like the coding term, means that you are communicating at different times, but in one spot so that you can check the information whenever it is convenient for you. That's exactly it. So which means translating this to Slack, you ask a question and you may not hear back from them soon, but they will definitely come back to you. And it applies to you as well, right? So um, you can always ask questions. You may not hear back from the other person soon, but they, you will definitely hear back from them at some point in time. So the expectation in WordPress itself is we all communicate asynchronously. So. This is the expectation for our program as well. Let's try to communicate as synchronously as much as possible, especially since we have such a vast time zone gap. I mean, we we like literally we have folks from the west coast of the US to Japan. So I mean, I don't think we have anybody from Australia, but so that's I think that's a that itself is like a 20 hour time time difference, if my math is right. So yeah, we have uh that's from Australia. Yes. We have one of my mentees from Australia. Is uh, or originally from Nepal, but uh, living in Australia in Sydney. So there is a nice. eleven uh, uh, eleven hours wow. time difference with UTC. Yeah. So that's so plus eleven minus I guess. Wow, okay. that's more than twenty. That's like twenty two ish. <laughs> so this is why we we do asynchronous communication. So it's uh it's important to keep that in mind. And yeah, so for the final week, uh. Yeah. So uh, once you once you've done with the contributions, keep checking in with your mentors, and and uh, your communication with your mentor will likely be asynchronous. So if you ask them a question, you may not hear back from them, them immediately. I mean, but they will definitely get back to you. Same is the case with all the other group members as well. So please don't be. Uh, I mean, I understand that sometimes it it you may not it it may be a little frustrating, but. Personally, I'm used to it. That's how, I mean, I work for a remote company and I work with a global open source project. So this is, it's the expectation. So I just want to make that clear. And yes, uh, for, for, for the last week, you have a final check-in with your mentor. And when I say check-in, it refers to a synchronous conversation. So uh, the asynchronous conversation happens always. So you have three synchronous conversations. It could happen on video, on audio, or even on a Slack DM. Uh, so after the final check-in with your mentor, you wrap up your contributions and you ship the project that you're working on. So we'll have a graduation call where you can share your wins or you can even share what you've done in, in, in Slack. And with that, we wrap up. Uh, as I shared earlier, 
creating the future contribution plan is a key part of this project because a lot of you have joined this program because the, you want to keep contributing and you you'd like a framework to do that alongside your day job so uh, your mentors will help you create this plan um and so work with them to create that plan and uh, and by the time you the, the program ends you'll have that plan and try to follow it as much as possible going forward so that's a that's a very brief summary of what we have in mind for the next six weeks. Some communication guidelines, uh, asynchronous communication, as I shared earlier, that's our norm. We have two Slack channels, the Mentorship Cohort February 2024 channel. That is our dedicated channel for our cohort. That's a safe space. We don't have any, it's an open channel. It's not private or closed, but it's we still, we only have folks from our cohort in the channel. So use that channel uh, to your you know, as much as you want as, and again, feel free to share cat gifts or even music. <laughs> I mean, I, we, we don't want to be all business-like, of course, we are here for co contributions, but like we're all human beings living our own lives. And this is, this is not a, I mean, technically this is the, this is the Slack channel of an open source project, but it's okay to have some fun, right? What is, what is life without fun? So yes, uh, that's a space for us to work on for the, for six weeks. Uh, feel free to use that space to ask questions, get support, or even offer help. Uh, that's going to be our space. And we have a general contributor mentorship channel as well. Uh, so that's actually the channel for the WordPress Contributor Working Group, which created this program. But we've also opened up for general questions on mentorship. So, and and uh, you might need to meet with folks quite a bit. Um, you can use the Slack huddle feature, which is built into Slack. If you like, for instance, if you want to chat with your mentor, uh, Zoom and Google Meet, as like, I mean, Zoom has a 40 minute restriction now. Google Meet, I think, has a one hour restriction. We have a Zoom Pro account for the community. I'll share the link to that in a bit. But if so, if you want to, and I'm trying to reserve a Zoom Pro account for our group. So if you want to host a, a Learn App or something, uh, we, can, we can give you access to the Zoom Pro account. And there are folks running projects. Uh, I'm literally talking to the mentor team to see if we can have dedicated spaces in Slack, like a, a temporary channel uh, where you can host your conversations. But again, uh, that's those are for projects with bigger people. Uh, please try working on the main channel as much as possible. And of course, for your con for mentees, for your conversations with your mentors, please, you, you can use DMs. I mean, your conversations are like, I should happen in that space, safe space. So, Slack DMs or even video calls are best for that. So for that, you can definitely, and in fact, I would strongly encourage you to do, use DMs. But for everything else, especially for public communication, please use the channels. So this is an important part of our cohort. We, this cohort is happening alongside WordPress 6.5. Uh, so we had the beta 2 come out yesterday. Uh, similarly, we have beta 3 coming out next week, beta 4 coming out next week. Release candidate one going out the week after next, and so on. So the we've very intentionally kept our cohort alongside this because we want you all to find out about the release experience. So we'll be sharing about these different release parties so that you can join them directly. And in fact, we have folks in the release like or oh, uh, we have a uh, um uh, we have a couple of folks who are working on the release in in this cohort as well as mentors. So they'll be they'll be amplifying these calls directly. Uh, as well. So feel free to join them. And we have a dedicated calendar, which I think we've shared with all of you. I'll be adding you all there as viewers as well, so that you can be abreast of all that's happening. Additionally, our hope is to have some learn-up sessions on the release process. So this is a bonus. Uh, you get to see how the release works. You get to know, understand the process. Like, uh, how does the planning start? How do we select features to be included? Uh, and things like that. But the coolest part is you get to contribute to 6.5. And I want to repeat, uh, and this is a point which my friend Patricia will be highlighting in 15 minutes-ish, but you do not need to be a developer to contribute to WordPress and even WordPress releases. Uh, so ev ev something that everybody in this cohort can do is you can test WordPress. So this program is happening alongside the release process. So right now we are in the beta phase. This is the best time to test WordPress. And in, I think uh, we 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 just had a ping in the channel from one of our mentors 
sharing a bit about the process so i would encourage everybody in this call like even our mentors all of us we should try and test wordpress as much as possible and it's 6.5 is a big release there's so much things coming up i just read a post about there's a cool new feature called the interactivity api it's just they've just merged it with 6.5 it's it's a really cool feature uh to so to summarize it broadly like blocks can now get to talk to each other so if you make changes in one block it reflects in the other one that it's a feature that enables that so there's a bunch of cool things like that coming in which means we need to test this really well there's going to be bugs so um and again we we will keep sharing detailed instructions here and you do not need to be a developer to uh do any of this anyone can do this and there's a lot of other ways to contribute as well we have a documentation team uh, on this cohort we have jenny here who represents documentation and uh, so anyway uh, we have uh, we have uh, you can translate wordpress to whatever language that you want to so there's so many ways to contribute especially if you're not a developer and if you're a developer that you would obviously have options but we have something for everybody and i strongly encourage you to contribute to 6.5 so yeah uh so what are the expectations uh the first point that if they, if, I, if i could just share one point from these six seven points that i mentioned i would pick the first one be curious so um this could be complicated this might be tricky but it helps to come with a curious mindset because we have a lot of things coming in this program and please please ask questions i i, I know i've said this at least four times in this call already and and i'm saying this again and again because it's so important like uh you're going to run into a lot of you know questions or doubts and in fact like in the last cohort we had folks uncover bugs because they asked questions i mean things may be obvious to you but they're not obvious to like the folks who are building this so you you are in the best place to you know uncover bugs but even even if it's not that way it's the best way to learn so um and yes please stay engaged in this channel we are mentorship cohort february 2024 that's our channel and i also want to highlight the point that i mentioned earlier please work at your own pace you don't need to like work 10 hours 15 hours 2 hours is fine 2 hours per week is absolutely fine so you can so what i'm trying to say is you get to define your own experience of this program like what you how much can you contribute so you, you get to pick that and uh, you get to you know, sort of like build your experience so uh i'm going to wrap up with some action items for all of you um i only have one ask for all mentees so if you could i mean of course uh, we have uh, you you do need to set your contribution goals and um, we hope that you will set your 30 60 90 day plans towards the end of the program but other than that and but those are like really guidelines but uh, every week uh, on monday starting on 26th we we'll, we'll ping you all in slack and we'll ask three questions just three questions it's it's like an informal way of checking in and building accountability nothing else we don't have any any other things going on it's like so these are the questions one is going to be what did you do last week second one is what do you plan to do this week and we will have a nice break a question alongside that that's it so um uh, uh that's one that's the main action item uh so experiment with contributions i i know folks are working on their own teams but you may realize that you may want to contribute to other areas as well and if you want to change things up like uh, ping one of us and we can we can provide you the help they need or, or you need or if you you can we can connect you with the right people and you can contribute to multiple teams as well in fact we recommend that there's many contributions that are like fairly light for instance uh, like i said earlier contributing photos or testing um so uh, and one thing that i'd like to notice we have we'll have a bunch of meetings as part of this code not all of them are mandatory please don't be like me uh, staying up at 12:30 am to attend the call <laughs> i mean i'm i'm doing this because like i'm i'm uh, here for all your all and i want to like present to you but don't be like me <laughs> uh you don't absolutely don't need to do it uh, just sit in whatever calls work for you and we'll we'll try to record as many of these sessions as possible and share this for our group so in case you can't make it also we'll have a recording available and um uh, so um 
if you have any concerns please raise it with your mentor directly or one of us facilitators and yes i know you've said this so many times but please please ask all the questions in slack yeah i think i've we've said it at least seven or eight times it's it's uh, but yeah that's that's a key aspect of this mentorship program experience like to be able to you know be vulnerable to ask questions and yeah all right so that's it uh i have not been following the chat so let me quickly see if anybody is asking any questions oh uh so james that's a great question we'll be sharing the videos in this channel but we'll also host them on wordpress.tv uh so patricia here is coordinating with different make teams to sort of like get some onboarding videos which she'll be sharing in the channel we'll be we'll, but we'll definitely eventually be uploading them in wordpress.tv as well i can in fact share some um videos from the last cohort which will give you an idea about what i'm talking about so any 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 questions i was just quickly reading through the intros in the meantime any questions any thoughts i can add something yes yes yeah, go for it yeah, yes so so the last time there was uh, the last call there was a uh, 6 7 8 onboarding session to different teams so this is going to be shared uh, it's already actually it's the link that uh, I is going to to paste i i guess um the goal is to have uh, more of those more onboarding sessions from other teams that were not uh, recorded or i think or no mentor maybe last last time and onboarding session is a bit uh, like a longer video um but what we are planning now is to have also a short overview of like five minutes for you to discover all the teams and uh, the working groups so you can see have, have a, a general idea of uh, what is it to contribute to the WordPress project and maybe choose and, and think, oh, this is interesting. I would like to contribute to that team and then learn more about that team. So um, so this is going to be done. We have actually, if you are interested into the mobile apps, for example, they, they are the first to share the short overview video. You can uh, go to the mobile um, channel. Um, so hashtag mobile and see the video that they provided to us and that we are going to share uh, all all of them on uh, WordPress TV and a page to to link to all those videos for you to discover everything because when you start contributing it it might look look a bit like so vast so big and uh, we don't want you to feel lost uh, as I was uh, some years ago so. <laughs> So this, uh, yeah, this, this I hope will help. And if you are feeling lost or whatever, feeling like that, you, as said, I, you post in the channel uh, or you reach out to your mentor. Um, and yeah, we are all here to help. And again, no one knows everything. Yes. I I want to just highlight that statement. No one knows everything. So we all learn from each other. All right. So any more questions or uh, so if anybody has anything to share, uh, both our mentors and mentees, uh, this is your space. We, we will, I guess, be open for about five or ten more minutes. So uh, you don't need to ask or raise your hands. You can just like just start talking. So the floor is yours. Anyone? So I add one more thing, but then I, I want some mentees to, to, to talk as well. Um, it's when you ask people what they like in the, the WordPress community, it's the community, it's the people. And I personally love to meet people from all around the world, but you, you will have also so much uh, fun doing that. We, we, we want you to have fun. And that's what, one of my tasks is to, to, to ask some an irrelevant question as well in the, in the channel. And you know, the icebreaker question that Harry asked about the dessert or you, you can, we say, or he said about cat memes, you can even post dogs. Okay. You are, I, I know Harry is a cat, per, cat person, but we can, you can post dogs or tortoise or rabbits. I don't know. And now the music uh, threads that OIA started, that's perfect because we get to know each other and we make it like, it's uh, it's not uh, an academic exam, you know, like in the university, you don't have to be afraid and we have to make friends as well. 
This is a great part of uh, the WordPress community. And if you attend events, uh, also feel free to post pictures of where you go to meetups and WordCamps and stuff like that. Now, some mentee to, to talk, please. <laughs> Uh, I want to quickly thank Ohio for sharing that playlist. I am excited. I'm gonna I'm gonna add a few songs there. <laughs> nice. So let it, me know it, if it's not collaborative. You should be able to add stuff, but I have only done that once before, so I don't know yeah. if I got it right. Yes, we'll find out. That's why we have the mentorship program for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, po folks, uh, I I can actually cross post that to Zoom as well. So if you want to go ahead and add a couple of songs, I mean, maybe songs from your region. So, yeah. So um, I had a quick question. Go for it. Uh, I, I haven't looked. Do you know the date? Or I don't know if there's a hard date, but around when uh, 6.5 is supposed to be released? I believe it's March 26th. Okay. Let me quickly confirm. Uh, so that's the date that they had in mind. 26 to 20. Yeah, I believe it's 26th. Yes. 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 So uh, that reminds me, we act, I have actually created a schedule uh, for all our mentors and mentees. I can actually share that in our channel right now. So it has, it is a very brief, I mean, um, it has like detailed expectations of what's, what's happening each week so that you all get to know. I mean, centrally, of course, of, and, and, for each mentee, the experience is going to be different because you're you're going to be working with your mentors on that. But this shows what we have in mind for the program. And we'll be adding all this to the calendar as well. So. I have a question. Yes, please. Can anyone tell me why <clears throat> the default featured image on post has a border radius on it, even if I have it set to zero, <laughs> please. <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, I really <laughs> have that question, but not for here. Yes. Maybe for Maggie. You, you should, you should, yeah, you should bring that. Back. In fact, I, I, I would like to try and bring in some more design folks to our group as maybe like observers who can answer this because I see a bunch of designers in here. So, but that's a great question. If if anyone yeah. ever wants to learn like the block editor really thoroughly, get on board with making a WordCamp site because you can't add plugins to help yourself. <laughs> so don't you do that. Don't say that. Don't do that. Hardcore, they're young. They're afraid. Just the block editor. Go for it. <laughs> yeah. Learn a lot. You will learn a lot. <laughs> Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I I can completely agree with you on that, Ohio. I... We, we have even been doing that uh, in several languages in Switzerland. <laughs> a WordCamp site on the WordCamp multi site with several languages without the ability to add a multilingual plugin. I, I love testing. And I wanted to like help test some of the releases, but I felt like I didn't know enough to like go in and know if it was a bug or if it should be that way or whatever. <laughs> but at this point, like I definitely want to help on testing and I was sad I had missed like the alpha or beta or whatever released test. And I know I can go in and test if I want, but like yes. I saw it in Slack the other day and I was like, dang it. <laughs> So I feel like I know the back end a bit more now and what it does and what it should be doing to be able to help test in a good way. So yes. I'm excited about that. I want to, when I saw that there was testing in this program, I was like, oh man, I should have done that. <laughs> you you so. can always do that, in fact, okay. I mean, in addition to what you're doing. So so like okay. I said, like testing, even though there's a group for it, we, um, as you must have seen all gasping in the channel. So she's going to be sharing these opportunities so anyone can really join, irrespective of the project that you're a part of. So you can both do design and test. Okay. So, yeah. So yeah, Ajit replied that he's been there. I, I, so we have, my community recently held an event called the WordPress Photo Festival. So Ajit, he basically made that site in one night. 
and and that's when that's how he learned blocks i think <laughs> do, do you want to do you want to talk about how you built that site ajit using blocks <clears throat> it was my first time using the full site editor so yeah it's been hard and it's <laughs> it's tricky to find yeah. the things like the menus how to add those and also yeah like i said before we can't use plugins so we need to do with whatever we have so yeah do you want to share the link to the site you made i think i think side. Also, you are missing one important detail is that in WordCamp sites, uh, you always have installed the alpha version of WordPress. Oh, yeah. I don't yes. know why. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is a very important detail. Thank you for flagging that, you know. Yep. And you, uh, Not even the stable version. Like you're on bleeding edge. And sometimes with the full set editor, you uh, build a test site in local and then go to the WordCamp site and then, okay, why does this button this yeah. exist? And... Yeah. James, we are warning you, by the way. We know you're going to organize a WordCamp. So <laughs> if you're on the <laughs> website creation team, like, yeah, the, you yeah, can the, learn the, by the going WordCamp to the WordCamp website is really, really beautiful. It's really beautiful. Whoever designed it, whoever implemented it, like, good job. Love it. Yeah, basically made it on one night. So yeah, we we are short on time. So we only had uh, less than one week to plan the whole thing. So yeah. Yeah, yeah the, finally, the, the one thing helped me is we can use uh, remote CSS. So I write most of my stylings on local machine and just sync it to GitHub and then sync from there. So yeah, that's helped me a lot. So. Nice. You can use remote CSS unless your your site is in maintenance mode. In that oh, case, yeah. the remote CSS doesn't work. Yeah, and you learned that the hard way. <laughs> well, we, we were gonna do that. We we had a one or two or a few instances of writing over each other accidentally, and we were gonna try to use remote CSS, but it is impossible. No podemos. We can't do it. So. Oh, it's like you... old school. You have to check in with everyone. Like, hey, I'm going into the CSS, guys. Are and, you in? And this year, uh, we have the alpha version of WordPress, in which uh, we they already have blocked the uh, Google fonts, mm -hmm. but Ooh. it didn't still have the way to of including new fonts. So I said, okay, yeah, how can I <laughs> use a font other than Arial? Mm. Yeah. You can use Inter, Nilo. You don't like Inter? Come on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but 6.5 is going to solve all of these problems yes, for us. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Wow. I was translating some of the new strings in Gutenberg, which could be important into WordPress. And um, a lot of them was like, oh, why? <laughs> At least <laughs> we have the. Uh, you know the message like uh, family font uh, successfully successfully imported. He said, "Oh yes." <laughs> uh, I think uh, James was going to say some something. Huh? Mm, uh, no. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> I that yeah, no. I was just going to say. Sorry. No, no, no. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say that um, I we don't have the WordCamp Boston since 2019 due to the pandemic. And so we're trying to revamp that, hopefully get that up and going sometime uh, next year or the year after that. But uh, I would definitely love to kind of jump in and create that site, actually, uh, with whatever new technology WordPress has. Reach out if you need help. Thank you. Yes. All right. So any more thoughts? Uh, we are almost at the top of the hour, and I don't want to keep you all, especially since it's midnight for some of us. So <laughs> uh, does anybody have any final thoughts to share before we wrap up? Yeah. 
All right, then. I think, uh, once again, thank you so much for joining this program. I'm super excited and happy all with us. Thank you, um, So, looking forward to six weeks of fun and uh, let's let's have a blast. All right. See you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you once again. Bye-bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Ciao, everybody. Ciao.